politicians look forward to the November the second election in Kogi State. We take a look at the governors in the state and the chances of the major parties. As the governor Yaya Bello today declared his interest to run for a second term. And an APC lawmaker from Benue State disagrees with his party, the APC, over the endorsement of Honorable Femi Jabi Amila as a speaker of the House of Representatives in the 9th National Assembly. They feel the North Centre is not fairly treated. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. Wherever you may be watching, it's just past 7 p.m. right here on Channel's Television and it means one thing everybody's watching. Politics Today right here on Channel's Television, the nation's news leader. I'm Shion Okimali at Channel's Television's global headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria. Tonight, we shall be taking you to Kogi State in North Central Nigeria and we'll be dissecting the issues relating to the performance of the sitting governor, Yaya Bello, and the contest of November 2019 in the state. Kogi State is one state that a lot of people always look forward to because of the politics, always intense. What we come out of uh, that state this time around, because the election in the state will happen on the 2nd of November 2019. The governor today declared that he's going to run. Let's take it a post on that conversation. First, let me tell you about some interesting stories coming out of the National Assembly yesterday. The president and some leaders of the APC met with elected members of the House of Representatives on the platform of the APC. At that meeting, the APC endorsed Honorable Femi Wajabi Amila as a speaker of the House of Representatives for the 9th National Assembly. But some people are not happy with the stance of the APC on the choice of Femi Wajabi Amila. Well, an APC lawmaker representing Boko Taraka Federal Constituency of Benue State Honorable John Diege says it is not right for the party to have microzone the position to the southwest region without any strong explanation on why a zone, the north central zone, cannot get it. He has declared intentions to run for the speaker at a press conference at the National Assembly earlier today. Honorable Dega says the north central zone has not been convinced nor given any reasons why their votes should not count and why they should not run. The Benway lawmaker says they feel very strongly that there is still room for negotiation because, according to him, it is not over until it is over. And he's calling on the APC to have a rethink and rezone the speakership of the North, to the North Strata region of the country for justice and fair play. I will stand before you today, my colleagues and dear countrymen, to declare publicly my humble and sincere intention to vie for the position of the Speaker of the Ninth House of Representatives. I am ready to offer my time and talents and make sacrifices for the good of every Nigerian. No retreat, no surrender. That's what it looks like for some lawmakers in the House of Representatives ahead of the 9th National Assembly. Let's take a breather and take a look at what is happening in your exciting world of politics as uh, we'll bring you Political Roundup. The Ogun State Governor-elect, Mr. Dakwa Biodun, has announced the Economic Transition Committee that will further articulate his campaign manifesto, ensure robust engagement with stakeholders, and develop a roadmap to guide its implementation. In a press statement issued on Friday, April the 12th, by his spokesperson, Remy Hassan, the Governor-elect was quoted as saying, Ogun State is blessed with an abundance of human resources in all fields of endeavor, and this is reflected in the array of distinguished sons and daughters who have volunteered their skills rich and diverse experience and vast network to work on this important assignment. And the Supreme Court has dismissed a suit filed by the former Ekiti State Governor, Mr. Shegwoni, challenging the eligibility of Governor Kayede Fayemi to stand as a candidate in the July 14, 2018 governorship poll. 
The apex court, in a unanimous judgment delivered by Justice Amirul Sanusi, dismissed the suit on the grounds that it has become statute barred and a mere academic exercise. In the verdict, the court held that Oni's suit was caught up with Section 285 of the 1999 Constitution, which makes it mandatory that all pre-election cases must be filed within 14 days, which the cause of action arose. Sequel to the order of the Federal High Court sitting in Kubo, Abuja on March the 7th, 2019, in respect of the Ajero Mi fellow to federal constituency election held on February the 23rd, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has declared the result of the election inconclusive. The declaration was made at the Federal Constituency Collation Center, a Jeremy fellow to local government area office of the commission, in the presence of leaders of political parties, candidates, and their agents. The election became inconclusive in compliance with the margin of lead principle, where no candidate emerged clear winner as a result of cancellation of election in 71 polling units affected by violence and overvoting. Consequently, Saturday, April the 27th, 2019, has been fixed for a supplementary election to conclude election in the affected constituency areas. Election is to hold in 71 polling units and 18 voting points, with a total number of 43,660 registered voters.